Alright, now, after blocking the hand in, at least getting the muscle mass is pretty much where we want them. We need to work on this thigh a whole bunch more. So, we're going to go back to the sculpt brush. We're going to make the brush a bit bigger, and we're going to start really pushing this mesh where we want it to go. Alright, so this, rectus femoris, I believe that is, needs to be defined and quite a bit bigger here. So the flattened brush is going to average across the size of that brush. So as we decrease the brush size, it should work a little bit more quickly in smaller areas. Smooth this back out through here. So now when we sculpt with a little smaller brush, we should be able to carve in So I'm just trying to define that muscle mass a bit more. So go into grab and start adjusting some of these masses with the grab tool. The nice thing about that is it kind of just physically moves the mesh around. So you can adjust the flow of things. And then, we still want to smooth things back out. So, you can decrease the strength and decrease the size, and just keep kind of pushing it back and forth. Now, it's a little bit better muscle flow. So, we'll help bulk things up a little bit. Because we know we're going to come back and smooth things out. So we'll go a little overboard, decrease the size of the brush, and then add some of that muscle striation detail. So this kind of flows out away from the kneecap. So then to the smooth brush, not too strong, and we'll smooth that back in. So we keep the overall feeling of the muscle detail, the fiber, without making it look like there isn't even a skin layer on there. Alright, now, just like everything else, as I'm trying to add detail, and some finer detail as we go, to the muscle masses, I'm also constantly checking my reference to see if the direction and flow of the muscles is as close as I can get it at this point. So, while I'm still looking to kind of bulk some of these muscles up a little bit more, I'm still always trying to check my reference and make sure that the location of the muscles is actually in the right spot. So I think I just need to adjust a bit of the insertion point of where this muscle kind of ends up around the knee. So we're going to carve in just a little bit there. And then as we move around, we'll be able to see that we can kind of add to the muscle mass and kind of change its flow and make sure that all these muscle masses are actually working together the way we want them to. So again, remember, as we add detail and we kind of bulk things up or carve into the mesh, we want to make sure we go back and smooth things out a bit. Now, the flattened brush here is actually giving me a bit better result than smooth was. So by flattening that out a bit, it kind of helps push things around. Now, pinch is going to help me kind of define a crease. So by pinching back in there, 
we were able to just kind of adjust the flow. Now again, I'm carving in a little bit there in that crease between the muscle masses, and then going back and trying to bulk the muscle mass up, again, to just help define the separation between the different muscles. So now we can go in and actually add a bit more of that kind of fine muscle striation. And as you can see, as I start to carve with that really fine brush, I'm not really getting the level of detail that I really want there. So some of that detail is going to have to wait until our next subdivision level. So again, as we add that detail, we're going to go back in and kind of smooth that in and just end up with a sense or a feeling of that underlying muscle striation. So as we kind of add detail, just remember, always go back and smooth and adjust the transitions of how things work together. So a little bit of negative right in there, and again, to help define the separation between those muscle masses. And then a little bit of smooth. And that smooth brush is working pretty fast right in there, just because the mesh itself doesn't have quite enough detail yet. So now this sartorius muscle here that runs from kind of the hip down to the inside of the knee, it's a bit big and bulky, so we want to smooth that back in a bit more. Again, we're always trying to check around the mesh to make sure things look right from multiple angles. So now we can add a little bit of that striation detail back in here. And again, soften it back up because we just we want it to feel like there's muscle striation underneath the skin, but we do still need to you know make sure that it looks like there's a skin layer on there and we haven't completely torn his skin off to hyper muscle detail. So now as we look around and check this from multiple angles, things are looking pretty good. The flow of the muscles actually seems to be going where we want it to. The bulk of the muscles works pretty well. So we just kind of define this one edge right here is definitely causing a little bit of trouble. So we can define that a bit more, but really the bulk of the work there is going to have to happen at the next subdivision level, just because there's not quite enough mesh detail at this point. So for what we have, that's looking really good. 